This year's presidential race in Argentina has been shaped by economic crisis and by the emergence of a political outsider who promises radical reform. Latin America's third largest economy is languishing under triple-digit annual inflation. One week you have a certain price, the next week that changes. We can't keep prices the same for long. Neither of the two candidates offer a good option for people. I don't support either of them. On Sunday, the two candidates sparred in their final debate as they seek to win over undecided voters. Far-right libertarian Javier Millet has campaigned as the anti-establishment candidate. He stood by his radical plan to overhaul the economy. Yes, we are going to dollarize the economy. We are going to close the central bank. We are going to put an end to the cancer of inflation. Government candidate and current economy minister Sergio Massa challenged Millet over the Libertarians' campaign pledge to cut ties with Argentina's two main trade partners, China and Brazil. Breaking up Mercosur, the breakup of the relationship with Brazil, the breakup of the relationship with China, represents two million fewer jobs and an impact on Argentine exports of $28 billion. WIMS cannot govern international policy. It cannot be governed by ideology. It must be ruled by the national interest. This country is suffering its worst economic and social welfare crisis in decades. Well, Argentina is facing um, a risk of hyperinflation because it has, in the last uh, 12, uh, 12 months, an accumulated inflation near uh, 150 percent. But in the last uh, months is running at 300 percent no, near. And also, uh, we have a 40 percent of poverty and 10 percent of people that cannot eat well. It is a social problem that is the, the, the worst of the last 40 years. Massa won the most votes in the first round, but polling suggests there is little gap between him and Millet now. Voters are faced with two sharply contrasting options. Massa, who says he will work to secure a broad national consensus to guide the country out of the current crisis. Or Millet, who says the only solution to the country's deep-rooted problems is his radical reform and a tough programme of public spending cuts. Argentines will make their choice between those two visions when they go to the polls on Sunday. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.